welcome to another episode of The Frugal Artist. And today's guest is, well, really can't say because it's a secret witness. And so we'll just refer to her as The Whistleblower. So, Whistleblower, tell us why you're here for our audience. I've been part of a secret investigation that studies the difference between the left and right side of the brain. The right side is the creative side of the brain. And we are using a process to stimulate the right side of the brain in under one hour. In under one hour? Wow, that's great! I discovered that! I googled it. It's been found that art stimulation can help improve things like memory, prime cre crimes creativity in other parts of your life, and it's just plain fun. Be happy, live a long, healthier life, and everybody can do it. Amazing! All this in under one hour? Well, today's painting is our silhouette painting. And so let's let our creativity, our innovation, get started. So let's go! And we're back. Um, we're going to be doing a four by six painting. You can download today's design. Our pattern will be available online for you. Um, we're go going to only use a couple of brushes. Um, this is a great painting to experiment with because it'll it'll make a beautiful painting. Um, if you'd like to go ahead and blow it up into doing a full size one. Okay. And we're using a half inch angle brush and a number eight round. Our palette is red, white, and black, and then I have a phthalo blue and a phthalo green. You can download um, today's pattern and get all your supplies at thefrugalartist.com. I'm going to be picking up some white and just a tad bit of blue on a wet brush. I don't know if I need it. And if you can see, this is a 5 8 angle brush, and it's kind of split there. As it gets wet, it kind of splits because I'm trying to make little dishes and dashes coming down. This is our rainy day painting, our silhouette painting. Notice how our couples are dancing in the rain. So we got it, I think, a little bit too wet. Okay, so I'm mixing our red and white to make a pink. Brush is, the brush is pretty dry. For the most part on this painting, I'm keeping the brush dry. Little raindrops coming down, all the music is playing. Now we're mixing in our green again with a little bit of the white. And it's just a matter of using just different little strokes to make this abstract background. Get some more color and adding it in. I'm painting very ra randomly, um, just where it feels right. Now with the wet brush, and I just wetted this, I am just adding a little bit of water, coming back with my paper towel, because I want to blend a little bit of it. Again, picking up my blue and white. And we're working very quickly, letting the right side of our brain kind of take over. Adding a tad bit more of the red and white, mixing it here, kind of getting some texture going. And I'm adding, um, I'm, I'm hoping you can kind of pick up the texture that I'm adding to it. I mean, this would be a really beautiful painting to do and then do a large version of it. And of course, you can use whatever colors you would like to use. A bit more of the blue. 
Working quickly, 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 getting the texture on. And of course, if you live like out in the Pacific Northwest, like I do, then you get used to a lot of rain. So as we're dishing and dashing and working on these textures, just keep on building up the layers. Uh, go ahead, play with different colors if you'd like. Be free, be fun. Get it picking up some green and white. I'm trying to get some just a tad bit along this edge here. Mixing some of the blue and white. Stick that over on this side. Working rather quickly in it. Picking up more white. Go ahead, add more texture. And all we're doing is just doing different layers of color and texture. And this is kind of giving us a little look of raindrops coming down. I like it. How much or how little do you going to do is really up to the painter. You might want to do a lot and then you might not. Again, let the right side of your brain kick in. Right here I'm mixing a little red and the white. It's a little bit pinkier and it's wetter. It needs to be a little bit more color up here. Let's try adding some more green to it. So I'm painting it a little, a little bit darker. And I'm just lightly dishing and dashing and switching to some blue. This phyllo blue is just kind of like this bright electric kind of blue, you know, and how dark again is just absolutely up to the individual. So you're just going to have to experiment and play with it. Work quickly. This is an hour painting. It'll be interesting to see how everybody's designs will turn out, you know, having their own uniqueness and individuality to it, and which colors they, you know, choose to use for their particular painting. So I can't wait to see you guys paint and post it. I'm using a number eight round with a very sharp tip, and that is the key, more so than the size of the brush, it's the actual tip. I'm going to paint in our silhouettes. Our paint is wet and loose, almost like ink, maybe a tad bit thicker. Oh, I love painting this. It's just a real feel-good painting that you can just get into and enjoy. It would be much easier to not paint on an easel when you're doing smaller brushes like this. Working on a tabletop would be so much easier with the effects of gravity and loose paint. And for a picture like this, if you really want to get creative, you can actually use a silhouette of yourself or a loved one that you could incorporate in this painting, which would make it very personal. Another idea would be to like um, maybe add some musical notes kind of floating down, you know, raining too along with the rain. I thought that would be kind of a cute design to incorporate in with it, but maybe next time, not today. I'm singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain. Da da. But a boo do do be do do. And if you don't get it like just perfect, then you can come back with a little bit of white. 
our colors are vibrant and our silhouette is uh, very crisp and that's what we want to achieve for our painting today. Just painting this makes me want to, well, grab my galoshes and jump into a mud puddle. Now it's time to sign it. And our beautiful painting. Well, now that you know the secret, <laughs> we'd be painting all day. Um, this only takes one small hour. Um, whatever our questions are, how long does it really take? Because I'm editing there. Um, under an hour, the average painting takes about 45 minutes, uh, shorter side 30 minutes. So you should be able to do really about the same because it is just getting that, you know, the right side of your brain moving and working. And so that's what you're doing. You do it in a faster way and then go ahead, pick out your favorite ones and do a painting for your own. Until next week, everybody, be sure to uh, write in, email me um, with your questions. Until next time. Bye.